new open source model called fat has beaten all the other open source models that are available in the open llm leaderboard like llama falcon is a completely new open source model from a research commercial group uh, funded by uae government it's called tii and they have released their latest model and that model has beaten almost every other model and ranks on the top of the open source llm leaderboard it's it's like everybody has been talking about falcon so in this video i wanted to give you details about falcon and also their unique licensing like it's not it's unlike anything else probably you would have seen so we're going to talk about their licensing and we are also going to see how you can access the model to start with what is falcon and where is it coming from it's coming from a group called technology innovation institute it's a it's a government facility technically speaking by abu dhabi government which is one of the emirates of uae so technology innovation institute has open sourced falcon llm now if you want to access falcon all you have to do is click this button it will take you to the hugging face organization page and you can access falcon but before that a little bit of information about falcon falcon is a foundational large language model just pre trained model it's been trained with 40 billion parameters 40 billion parameters and trained on 1 trillion tokens so falcon is a large language model it's been trained with 40 billion parameters on 1 trillion tokens now tii has released falcon llm which is a 40 billion model and they've also released the instruct fine tune model which we'll see later on and in terms of the model the model uses only 75% of gpt3 training compute uh, because it's it's not taking that much computation uh, as you can see here and it uh, takes 40% of chinchillas and 80% of palm 62 billions training compute so they wanted to show that they are also training efficient not just it's a good model but it is also training efficient which means it does well but it is also cheaper in terms of uh, Co computation and training and also you know good for environment now there are a lot of information about you can go read what makes falcon unique one of the important thing is falcon is highly optimized for faster inference so that means the architecture of falcon was optimized for performance and efficiency combining high quality data with these optimizations falcon significantly outperforms GPT-3 in terms of compute budget, but also when you are trying to do inference, it's actually faster because of the way it has been trained. It has been released also. Now you can see all the details. One of the interesting use cases, if you have a large language model use case, especially using Falcon, then you can go here and submit the proposal, and the group, the TII, might offer you training computing power or also commercialization opportunity. So if you are If you are an entrepreneur who is working in large language model, this might be an opportunity for you to try it out. Now, getting into the model in itself, it's again uh, the group has released a bunch of things. One of them is the Falcon 40 billion parameter model. It's again we know it's a large language models trained on one trillion tokens. You can see the details about the training data, what they have used. Currently, Falcon outperforms all the other open source large language models that are on Hugging Face. it outperforms llama stable stable llm red pajama mpt i mean literally every other model that has been there it has outperformed them it also features an architecture optimized for inference just like i told you before with flash attention and multi query it is made available for commercial use and that's exactly what i want to get to next before we even see the sample code so when it says it's available for commercial use and they have got a unique license just click this license and once you reach the licensing place just go there and then you know at the start it says this license in part based on apache license version 2.0 with a series of modification and it says it is different to other open sources licenses you may have encountered that's true why because when you go to this page you can just simply do control f and then search for royalty and you would see royalty 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 and you would see royalty in six different places now to make it easier you can go to their organization page and you can see the detail and what is the detail 
you can freely use falcon models for research and personal purpose you want to build your own girlfriend cool you can use falcon model to build your own girlfriend gpt you are allowed to share and build derivatives of these models but you are required to give attribution and share like with the same license cool now what is that same license for commercial use you are exempt from royalties payment if the attributable revenues are inferior to 1 million dollars per year otherwise you should enter into a commercial agreement with tii let me repeat it if you're going to use this falcon 40 billion parameter model for a commercial use if your revenue is less than 1 million dollar us dollar then you don't have to pay them anything but if it is more than 1 million us dollars then you have to pay them a royalty they call it a unity unity the gaming framework type licensing i'm not very familiar with unity's licensing but you can see that this being a government funded institute we are part of abu dhabi government's advanced technical research council which oversees technology research in the emirate which is abu dhabi still they have got up with a very unique license i'm i'm very interested to see how the community is going to take this forward and go forward but this is again a very unique proposition like i mean um, i'm i'm not sure whether it is for good or bad but this seems like a very unique uh, proposal of how you can place open source libraries while you contribute to the research and academic purpose while also make money so it's quite an interesting time to see what is going to happen what are the things that they have open source they have open source falcon 40 billion parameter model this is the raw model not fine tuned with anything and they have also released the falcon 40 billion instruct fine tuned model with that's been fine tuned on the base data set and if you want a lighter version of the model they have given you the falcon 7 billion parameter model and the equivalent instruct fine tuned model like if you want to build a chatbot then you can use falcon 7 billion instruct fine tuned model they have also given you these training data set the web data set on which it's been trained so you have got 600 billion high quality tokens available there and you have got further for like a couple of more training data 1.3 billion parameters trained on 350 billion tokens and 7.5 billion parameters trained on 350 billion tokens the pre trained models are available here so you have got the raw pre trained model the biggest one you have got the instruction slash chat model and you have got a smaller one and you have got the training data set and you have got further smaller models in itself so overall this is what they have released the good thing about this falcon model is that like i said on a bunch of benchmarks it's managed to beat all the other existing models even the llama 65 billion parameter model the llama fine tune model the gpt4 alpaca models vicuna models and the gpt4 x vicuna models i mean all the models that we have until now seen and then felt really good and then you know out about these models it's been beating all these models you can see the average it has beaten everything you can look at one of the benchmarks which is arc uh, ai2 reasoning challenge you can see it's a set of grade school science questions it has beaten every other model in that you can see hellaswag it's a common sense inference question which is easy for humans 95% but challenging for sota state of the art and humans is 95% and here you can see it's it's 62% sorry 85% and you can see other benchmarks as well and it has done pretty good like uh, the truthful qa not as good as the the second um, closest but you can see in almost every other aspect every other benchmark it has actually done really good i have not tested this model in itself like hands on yet but i just wanted to share this news and let you know that we have a new contender that has beaten the llama model and it is available for personal research use i wouldn't necessarily call it available for commercial use for a, for a, for their very strange convoluted not so convoluted but strange licensing that's something that i would like to hear from you what do you feel about it but overall this is a really good step i mean one of the things that released got released from the google paper is that nobody has a moat not google neither uh, open ai this seems like true it seems like open source models are going to rule the world and it seems like that's that's what is going to happen and with with the fine tuning techniques like qlora 
I think this is going to go further deep into the niche that you want to train and fine tune it. So it's, it's an interesting time. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about the licensing? But otherwise I will link all the required links in the YouTube description. Like I said, if you have got an interesting idea, you can go submit it here. Maybe you're going to become super rich and thank me later on that I helped you become super rich. So overall Falcon 40 billion parameter large language model is a very interesting new announcement that has just reached the top of the open LLM leaderboard. And uh, I would like to hear from you. What do you feel about all these things? See you in another video. Happy prompting.